Hi and welcome to the third in this series of Baron of TV episodes around holidays. Um, episode one is around preparing the business for you to be absent um, and for longer lead times and that sort of thing. So we're actually um, protecting the business from the holiday period itself. Episode two is around preparing your team for your absence um, and making sure that they feel confident in carrying the business whilst you're not necessarily there and to give you the peace of mind to enjoy your break and to get to a proper holiday. Um, and the third episode, which is this one, is about overcoming the seasonality that many businesses face and that can actually have a major impact on profitability and cash flow in particular when things slow down. Um, so. Episode three, seasonality, how can you overcome that? Um, many, many businesses face it. Um, we always used to in our old business with um, a, a big team and lots and lots, hundreds of clients. Um, we found that November, December, January were always really full on, whilst February, March and April were far, far quieter. Um, now there, are, there were always things that we could park in the busy period and come back to in the quieter times. Um, but it's really quite difficult to be able to manage that process and to make sure that you've got the feedback coming through the door for us and the money coming in at the right times to sustain the business throughout and to keep your staff busy. Um, so uh, you've really got um, probably two pr real options um, in terms of overcoming the seasonality. Um, you potentially need to have the enough team members in place to carry you through the busy periods. Um, that could be that you have everybody on headcount so you're, you then have a team full time. Um, obviously the risk then is you have to make sure that they're busy in the quieter periods. Um, the other option is that you could run the busy periods with uh, seasonal staff. So people like Amazon and a lot of the supermarkets always bring in people um, in the run up to Christmas because they know they're going to be busy. So they bring them on, they give them basic training and then they, they are seasonal, they go at the end of the busy period. Um, that's because they don't have and they cannot find the business to keep them on on headcount throughout the year so they do they look at the seasonal aspect of it um, option two is finding a way of filling the quiet time so it could be using looking at parallel markets um, or vertical markets where um, you're actually looking at pr providing a service to a different marketplace um, so for example prime idea is uh, ski resorts we were lucky enough to be in one of the ski resorts um, just a couple of weeks ago and it was like a ghost town um, that's because it was June they have summer season now albeit um, a lot lot quieter than the winter season which is obviously their primary time to make money um, but the ski resorts have looked at uh, the summertime and they've um, promoted themselves for mountain biking and walking and that type of thing so they've actually found themselves a second season albeit there are a couple of months of gap in between the two. Um, so is there a way within your business that you can look at finding a similar second market um, to present your business to and to present your products and services to. It could be that you might need to find new products and services um, that complement um, your existing ones um, that will enable you to stay busy in your quiet times. The other option obviously is to take the quiet time and use that time productively within your existing business. So it could be that um, you decide to use that time um, to work on the back office, it could be your website, it could be your marketing, it could be your finances, it could be your reporting, um, it could be looking at new processes or documenting existing processes and training your team. Um, there are lots of things that get left, that get parked, that don't necessarily get the attention that they deserve and that would really benefit your business when you're really busy. So in the quieter times, it could be a good opportunity to start to look at those. It's also a good opportunity to take advantage of other businesses' quiet time. Um, again, websites and training and that sort of thing. Um, in common with the fact, particularly over the summer, that you might be uh, quieter or stretched potentially with people off on holiday. 
some of those businesses, they find that they haven't got people taking them up because they've got people out. They don't want um, trainers coming in because they can't have all of their team available at the time. So if you can take advantage of um, that opportunity, you may be able to get a decent amount of training at a lower price. Similarly, you may be able to get people like telesales people um, during August. They tend to be quiet. If you can take advantage of that, you may get a good deal on that service from them. So have a think about the projects that you want to look at and see whether you can move those into that quiet time to get a better um, value for the, the a better bang for your buck, I suppose. Um, think about your timing, think about pulling products forward, think about services and products and other markets that you could think about um, and utilize during that time. It's a really difficult subject to cover off in a, a short or relatively short video. Um, if you've got real issues with seasonality that you don't know how to address, please do get in touch because there are things that you can do um, with a, some quite serious thought. You can actually find that um, that time feels quite nicely and the coffers are topped up quite nicely too. Um, so that's the, the last of the three episodes. Um, do take a look at the other two if you haven't seen them already. I hope they're useful. I hope that by... Um, implementing some of the points in here it gives you a really nice holiday um, and some time away from the coal face and just to to get the peace of mind that you can chill a bit and that everything at home is working nicely um, to come back refreshed and invigorated to hit the ground running again as everyone else comes back from their holiday have a lovely time and we'll see you all very soon